Hi guys, it's Friday, and today is comedy. And today we're looking at the comedy of the National Lampoon. Now, some of you may be familiar with the magazines. They came out mid-70s. I think I got my first one probably in 1973 or so. National Lampoon magazine. These are just a couple of the covers. The ones I still have kicking around. And surprisingly, some nice writers in here. Uh, this one is unique because we have uh, two articles written by John Hughes, who went on later to write the movies like Pretty in Pink, Sixteen Candles, and a lot of the team movies, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Lots of great stuff, but early days writing for National Lampoon. Now, National Lampoon was a magazine that came out during those freewheeling times in the 1970s. Anything goes. There were no rules. Nothing was off limit. Nothing was sacred. They would poke fun at anything, and they really weren't worried about offending anybody. It was just free-spirited, whatever they wanted to write about, whatever they wanted to say, it showed up in here. And it is called The Humor Magazine. Now, they not only had the magazine, but they also had a radio show, a traveling stage show, and did recordings. Now, just a couple of examples here. Uh, one of the early recordings, and this is a picture of the one magazine cover, uh, Music Issue, and it was a lot of music parodies. Performers on this, you may recognize some of these names. We've got Christopher Guest, who became famous later on during the Spinal Tap uh, movies. Bill Murray's on here, Paul Schaefer's on here, Gilda Radner's on here. Yes, those names sound familiar because they all went to Saturday Night Live. A lot of people that were involved in National Lampoon had come from Second City, and a lot of them moved on into Saturday Night Live, although Saturday Night Live was a little more sanitized than what they were doing with National Lampoon. This is their training ground. Another album that they had, and this was a little more along those lines, involved a lot more sketch comedy, and it's called the National Lampoon Radio Hour. This one's called The Greatest Hits. They had another one out called the Golden Turkey Awards, and you can see we've got the Golden Turkey right up front here. And again, it's just a who's who of uh, cast members on here. Uh, I've got uh, Richard Belzler, uh, Bill Murray, Brian Doyle Murray, George Cole, um, Gilda Radner, Christopher Guest again, Bruce McCall, Doug Kenny, who wrote the National Lampoon's Animal House. They write the sketches, they do the skits. And again, based on what was on there, Radio Hour. Now, if you're a fan of Woodstock like I am, and you may recall in that first episode I kind of alluded that National Lampoon had to take off, their album, Lemmings, about the Woodchuck Festival. And Lemmings, again, had some great Saturday night performers in there, and it basically follows the idea of the Woodstock album. We got the stage announcements, we got the performances, we got some of the bands you'll recognize. We got a takeoff on Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. We have uh, Dylan on here, although he didn't show up at Woodstock, but there's always a rumor he was going to. We've got Chevy Chase doing a great uh, John Denver. John, uh, John Belushi doing his uh, Joe Cocker. Christopher Guest again. Very good album. Lots of fun if you're familiar with the Woodstock album. And uh, something to check out. Their last album that I picked up, and I don't know how many more they did after this, and it kind of was the motto for National Lampoon was National Lampoon, that's not funny, that's sick. And this one also was a stage show. Now, I did get a chance to see it. I caught it at uh, Queen's University, Grant Hall, probably, I'm going to say 1976, 77, somewhere in that era, where they were still performing it. And just to give you an idea who had written material that was performed that night, uh, we've got Christopher Guest again, Tony Hendra, Doug Kenny from Animal House, Paul Schaefer, Brian Doyle Murray, Brian McConaughey, uh, John Belushi, Gilda Radner. Again, a lot of those names we recognize, a lot of Second City people, and a lot of Saturday Night people. And it's a, just to show that they were doing, they traveled around different universities or different venues. And I think that was one of the last live ones. The album, of course, uh, featured mainly Christopher Guest, Brian Murray, and Brian Doyle Murray. Now, just as a, I guess a word of caution, this is 1970s material. Things were different back then. 
National Lampoon had no boundaries. They didn't worry about who they offended or what they said. If you're somebody that's easily offended, this might not be the material for you. But if you're willing to take a chance, it's, a, it's an opportunity to see what some of these people were doing before they became very famous. To find out where they were, what their background was, and the kind of material they were doing before Saturday Night hit or before they became famous in movies. So, main one I just mentioned to you, if you're a fan of me like uh, Woodstock, or a fan of Woodstock like me even, check out Lemmings. Very good album and you know lots of lots of laughs and lots of memories in there when you tie it up with the original album. Okay, that's it for Friday. I'll see you on Monday for jazz. Everybody have a great weekend. Enjoy the sun.